understand that your tolerance, you have a part where your tolerance is 20 and it is plus minus 10 microns, 20.01 and 19.99. This is your tolerance, okay? And this part is you are, uh, supply, you are getting it from one of your suppliers, okay? So in the incoming inspection, in the incoming inspection, you are measuring these parts. You are measuring these parts. Let's say the first part, you get it as 20.008. Will you accept it or reject it? This part, will you accept it or reject it? You accept this because this is within your tolerance. Next, let us say you get 20.009. You accept it. The next part, let's say you get 20.01. Accept? Okay. Now I want the truth. Let's say the next part is 20.011. Clear? Confident? So you reject this. Okay. So you accept these three parts and you reject them. And as you all know, every measurement there will be error. There is error in every measurement. You agree that? So what you have measured as 20.01 could be more than 20.01 also? Can be. And what you measured as 20.011 could be less than 20.01 also? So what have you done here is you have probably accepted a rejected part and you have rejected a good part. Possible? Possible. In every tolerance, in every specification, we have this problem. This zone, we always call this as the uncertain zone. In this zone, we always have problems. Anything that comes into this zone, you will always be in trouble. Sometimes you will say, okay, your customers will say, not okay. Sometimes you would have rejected it, but your customers say, this is a good part. Why did you reject it? So there could be, this is why I say, colloquially, I call this as LOC area, the line of control area, border. Okay, so it's dangerous to work there. So we, it is always better for us to stay away from it. There is no solution to this problem. There is no solution. Nobody can measure anything with zero error. Every measurement, there will be error. So what we should do, we should avoid this uncertain zone. So how much is your uncertainty? How much is this zone? If it is plus minus 2 microns, the thumb rule is, the general thumb rule is, in a measurement like this, where your tolerance is plus minus 0 0.01, the, a good measurement system means your uncertainty should be plus minus 0 0.001. 10%. If your uncertainty is within 10%, it is rated as a very good measurement system. So, but if your uncertainty is more, what happens? You are uncertain. So every tolerance, yes, tolerance is there, but it depends on how much is your uncertainty. If you have more uncertainty, you did not bother about standards, you did not bother about workpiece preparation, you did not bother about person to person variation. You did not, did not bother about environmental differences. What happens is your uncertainty increases. And when your uncertainty increases, what happens? Your chance, because if you have parts here, in this area, in this area, if you have all your parts, you are safe. But if your uncertainty is very high, if this is your uncertainty, then you know your decision. When your uncertainty is less, you have a bigger area to play around and you are more confident. So that's why slowly the awareness on uncertainty is increasing. The real best thing is in any test result, when we do consulting, what we do, we find out what is the uncertainty and then we ask the, the production to reduce that tolerance. Plus minus one, you keep everything inside. And that is what we want. We always want our shop to utilize only 60% of the total tolerance. 60% of the total tolerance. So that's why it's always better to have, you know, uncertainty knowledge and keep it as low as possible. So it's a good practice to do evaluation of uncertainty. Find out because every result, every result, remember, 
any result that you get, you must declare uncertainty. All